Okay, so this is the first time I'm recording gameplay for YouTube. Uh, I just want want to test how the YouTube algorithm performs when I upload a video. So I'll be playing Dark Souls, one of my my favorite games. As you can see, English is not, is not my native language, so I won't care much about that. Uh, I'm creating a character. The reason why the name appeared like immediately is because I was using Remote Play, so I could type. Uh, just uh, gonna do a mage build for this playthrough. The gift with the master key, so I can access some late areas of the game early on. Uh, <coughs> I just pick, I just pick like simplest options for customizing the character. I don't care much about that. Just uh, also, I have to say that. Let's let's see the beginning cutscene. In the age of ancients, <coughs> the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Wind's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. Witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. 
The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. grabbing the cell key. Uh, I won't be reading these tutorial messages. Uh, as you can hear, the, the demon run running around, uh, walking around in the other room. But it's a boss we can fight later on. Basically, it's very straightforward what you have to do in under the asylum. I'm gonna go up this ladder. And we are gonna see our first bonfire, just there. Uh, there is a gate here that we will open later. As a shortcut. So we proceed by opening these big doors. And uh, if you look up, let's see. You can see the boss. Yes, there he is. He will drop down as soon as you enter the room. Uh, <coughs> you don't want to, hi to fight him, you just want to go for this door right here that will close behind you. You can kill him if you chose the first gift as the. If you chose like the fire bombs, like fire bombs. But uh, since I chose a master key, I won't be killing him. I need to get my weapons first. So here you grab your shield. <coughs> Equip the shield. You can just um, go ahead and grab your weapon. This will vary depending on the class. Since I'm I chose the the sorcerer, I have a dagger. Which is kind of a shitty weapon, but uh, has very good critical hits, so when you're playing with a dagger, you go for critical hits, like look at the backstabs and reposts. Uh, <coughs> you see this guy inside that room, we need to talk to him. Uh, there will be a boulder that will fall if you will go up the ladder, so we we'll just go up like this, but it will fall and not hit you. Very simple. Actually, uh, I'm explaining what I'm doing, but oh, I don't you. intend this to be a walkthrough, or just a casual play. No, also, Thank I was recording on I'm PS4, for so I'll die soon. the quality is not that great. I don't have a capture card or something, something yeah. and I don't have the PC you version. And I, were both undead. I was just capturing Healing natively out. on the PS4. Regrettably, Should I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen, and thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. <coughs> well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Oh, and this. 
Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Thank you. I really like the voice acting of this game. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Thank you. So he gave us the Estus flask, which is a heal. Um, and a key. Uh, so we go down here, open this that shortcut to the bonfire. All right. Once that's done, we can go upstairs. There's an enemy. You see? Just go for back steps if you have a dagger. There will be like three enemies around the corner, and uh, we got the sorcerer's cutlass, so we can cast spells. You can either lure them or wait for them to come one by one. See how, how little damage the dagger does if it's not critical hits. Just go fishing for back steps. I at that moment I just came back because I forgot I already had the catalyst. So I was checking if I had picked it up. Equip it. Now I can cast spells. There will be an enemy in enemy that room. Uh, you don't have to kill it if you don't want. There's a spell there. This gate will be locked until later. We can come back to that asylum later. Uh, it contains a very important ring. After that gate, you can loot a very important ring. It will save you a lot of headaches. Uh, basically, we want to do a point in attack to the boss. You can kill him with spells. Try to poke him with spells. This one. Decent damage. You have this way, you play with a way. The saucer. You can hear the demon that I showed you earlier. He's behind this arena. You can come back later and kill him. So we use the key. Pretty much done with uh, <coughs> on that asylum. There's a it item to the left. <coughs> it's a soul item. So I've lost and dead. It gives you like gives you like two hundred souls. This is a. A nest we can come back later to use. Uh, basically, you drop items here and you get items back. It's like a trade. There are specific items you can drop, and you get specific items back from the from it. Can be useful. <coughs> Only in the ancient legends it is stated. One day an undead should be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. To the land of the ancient lords. Lordran.
uh, we arrived at Firelink Shrine, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rest at the bonfire. Level up. Let's see. I was checking my stats. Uh, so I like when I play as uh, Sorcerer to uh, spend points in Vitality and Endurance. Like the early game, I put one point strength because I, I'm gonna picking up. I'm gonna go to pick up a long sword, well, so I need ten strength for that. We have here. You must be a new arrival. Let me guess, fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first, but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to <coughs> rot in the undead asylum, but too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here. Let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead. <laughs> <coughs> so this guy talks a lot, but he gives you information what to do in the early game. Face. You're practically hollow. I don't know. Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> Ooh, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collected bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Hmm? What? You want to hear more? Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lift is broken. You have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burn through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burn, within the plague-infested blight town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> Bloody hell, what is it now? You ask too many questions. Hmm? What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. Well, he finally stopped speaking. Uh, we pretty much exhausted his dialogue. He told us what to do. We have to ring those bells of awakening. Uh, there, were, there are two bells, as he told us. As he told us, one is up above and one is down below. We're gonna go do this. This is the your first task in this game is bring it these bells. Uh, let's explore Fernan Shrine. Grab an item. We just grab an item. Uh, there's another NPC we can talk to. There he is. Hello, I am Petrus of Thoralum. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance if possible. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. So we got a copper coin. Oh my. You again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Yeah, just say yes to me. Very well. 
Then first, a covenant with the gods. You say yes again? Now, let me share my miracles. Only, their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. So you can learn a gesture from him and he sells miracles. In this playthrough I won't be using any miracles but uh, he sells some talisman. Come again. I won't be bothering much with him. Um, there's another item up the stairs. Another soul. Uh, I was trying to see how this person died, but nothing actually showed up. This blood stain. So, uh, it's a secret in Farling Shrine. You just drop down here. You won't die. You fall in this small room. Then you drop down again. There will be chests. Uh, in this one, you get Homeward Bone. It's a very good item. You can teleport back to vampires. Uh, Morningstar and a talisman. We won't be using those, but they're nice. Crack red eye orb that you can use to invade other players. Uh, Lost talisman is also a PvP item. You throw on a player, and he will be able to use Estus. So uh, there are other items scattered scattered around, but I won't bother to get them now. I'll get them later. I don't need them for this build. There's another item right there. Just go around. See this? The enemies on the cemetery, cemetery, cemetery are following you. you can drop down here and rest at the bonfire. Uh, after I rest at this bonfire, I'm going to attend the gameplay here at the spot. Uh, later. I will post, continue to post this, this playthrough. Thank you for watching.